Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are once again playing Resident Rise. And, uh, I moved things. Now, I've got some things in here that we need to make before we can move on. These are control circuits. As you can see, eMasher resource. This is part of Engineer's Toolbox. Now, we need two of these. The cool thing about these is when you pick them up, you know, it says contents nothing. But if you place it back down, it maintains the recipe, so that's useful. Uh, next thing we need is these PSUs. They're made like so. Also, once again, pretty simple. Now, you then put these in here, and this will make modular sockets. We're only making two at the moment. Oh, and like a strong box, when you pick these up, it will uh, contain what was in them. So as you can see, 19 machine chassis. And now we've got uh, the elevators, although we don't have the blank modules. They're made with glass panes, glowstone, machine chassis. I feel like that's supposed to have another S on it. But anyhow, red dye, green dye, and lapis, or blue dye. So you get 12 of those per craft, and I'm making two crafts because why not? Now... We need one module. Now, two gas tiers and a module gets you two elevators. So, this may have heavily influenced my decision to use two elevators regardless. And we're going to need two redstone inputs. Now, I'm going to need another thing for this, but uh, as you can see, everything is moved. And uh, these are carpenter's barriers, as it says, but I adjusted their uh, texture with the hammer and then I applied some chiseled iron fences onto them. So, as you can see, I got the concrete in here as well, which makes it look a lot better. The storage is here. Uh, all the machines are over here in this room. And over here is where I got my incubator, which has been doing a pretty good job getting me fish. Uh, I also collected some oil. And, uh, so... I need to make the remote, I'm sure you saw the open computers there, but I'm not quite ready for that. Oh, lovely. I need to make a control circuit. Well, thankfully I have uh, this to sort that out for me. Uh, what else do I need? Blank modules, throw those in the system, and with the press of a button. So, the remote is what you need to configure the modules. Uh, in this case, I'm going to need to use the red setting and the white setting. And you would not believe just how useful this phantom bridge is. Because I have used it so much to deal with this place. Oh. Uh, actually, I need you to come back off of there. I am missing a very important module. Uh, let's just turn this off. Now, that very important module is the magnet. Uh, this guy right here. Which requires a block of iron. I'm going to need two of these. Bring you back into the system while I find my magnet again. It was here. These magnets are what allow the sockets, which, if you place a socket, like so. Now, I'm not going to need anything on the bottom. I want the the uh, orientation of these modules when you place them is very important. So, this one is down. I'll leave him here so I can sort that out. And what I'm going to want is to change the redstone signal. If you see, there's a little notch there. That tells you what's going on with that. The magnets, I believe, just work normally, but I'm also going to wrench the bottom of those to magnet down. And uh, these are just enhanced energy cables from Ender.io. They transfer 5,120. And one of these is just made some redstone, glowstone, and gold. Just pretty straightforward. Now, on this side of the block, I'm going to want the redstone inputs. And now if I wrench this, you can see magnet, redstone input, and elevator. 
I uh, should be able to place him. I'm going to put the up right there. Oh, away. And I'm going to put the down on this side. Now, I'm going to need to get a computer control for this in order to actually get somewhere. Where'd my... Oh, the door is still there. Couldn't see the door. It's doing a very good job of its job. Now, if I press down... Oh, no, that's up. What's going on here? You're supposed to be working. Why are you not working? Huh. That's weird. Why do I have to change these to forced connection mode? Because that would be all, uh, completely unfortunate. Hmm. Oh. It's a good thing I still have my phantom bridge on there. No, I don't want to go up any animal. Why are you not moving? That's really weird, because I've tested pretty much everything involved in this situation, aside from having two elevators. Oops. Scroll wheeling while holding shift, and it's uh, switching things on here. Let's just yank you off. We'll put you there. Pull you off. Switch you. Now, the elevator should go down when I press the button. In theory. Everything should be fine. I don't know why you're not functioning as expected. strange. Ow. I've actually died a few times from fall damage there. You'd think I'd learn that when in my elevator, I need to run this all the time. So, now I need to go down a level or so. Uh, here. Bridge go. There we go. Now, if I put... The only thing I did differently was wrenched it, didn't I? So if I go back up now and press the other button... Let's do this the safe way, shall we? Well, that didn't really move us as I expected. Now, if I press this button... Cool. We go up. Now. That's good and all. But, uh... What good is going up and down if we don't have a proper way to control it? And as you can see, I kind of walled this off a bit. Now, concrete actually looks really good, and once I get this finished the whole way to the bottom and everything, I think it'll look really good. Uh, right there where I stopped is where I'm going to start changing the type of concrete, and I'm going to change it over to the darker one with the one that switches between them. But uh, the first thing, we're, well, first, 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 I need to convert some iron into nuggets. Actually, you know what? Let's do it to two of them. I wish I could shift-click this to do this, but, uh, eh, whatever. And I'm going to need to cook up some... Oop, that is not what I meant to do. I'm going to need to get some more cactus. My cactus, most of it I left over at uh, the castle still, in the growing state. Oh, I was like, why you no take? Um, I don't know if I showed this before, but you can put in the double layer or the uh, octatic capacitors to increase the speed and also increase the amount it can hold. So, this is where open computers is going to come into play. We're going to need at least a tier 2 screen. We're going to need a... We're probably going to actually need three of each of these because I don't really know a good way to handle all of this. 
I'm not as familiar as I'd like to be with both Lua and Open Computers, so things aren't going to be too pleasant. At least not right off. Okay, so give that a second, and then I'm going to need one of these. I think I'm going to need a lot more than one. Because I need to make three CPUs. Oops. Uh, there's a button to go back a recipe, but I don't remember where it is. Oh, good. The CPU doesn't require the printed circuit board. This is good. Pretty sure memory does. Yep, memory does. And then the graphics card is going to require two, so that's three of them. Four, because I'm going to want a hard drive. So... I should have enough. I think the simplest solution I'm going to have is to just, just make a ton of them. And then I won't have to worry about it for a little while. So once again, just cook those. And I suppose this is where I will move on with what I was doing. So in order to make the tier 2, well, in order to make a lot of anything. Oh, great. Sawdust. Give me one of these. I'm unfortunately going to need paper, so let's just... Let's just make a lot. There. I shouldn't have any shortage of paper. So, I'm going to need a transistor. Of course you would pull a different type of iron nugget. Of course you would. I'm, I'm just going to say this now. I'm probably going to be moving away from this terminal specific very soon. You know what? Screw it. Let's just make 11 of them. That'll make things a little bit simpler for the future. So if I request this, craft one of these... Get a monitor. Oh, good. I need more cactus green. I should have seen that coming. I really should have. You know, I keep exiting that terminal when I don't need to after requesting things. So, throw that back in there. I'm unfortunately... I'm just going to get one of these set up, and then I'll make the other ones off-camera. Because there's no reason for me to have to do all of this on camera, because once you've seen it once, you've seen it twice and three times. Okay. I'm just going to keep... No. Yeah. I'm just going to keep an iron nugget in here at all times. Uh, Two of these for the moment, I think. Throw that back in. Craft me a memory. I was worried that it was going to complain about that, too. Uh, oh. Wait. Okay. Let's do a quick tally of everything I have and or need. So I need two microchips, three resistors. This is not working as well as I planned. Three microchips, six resistors. So, three microchips, six resistors, two more microchips, uh, that's pretty straightforward. I've already lost track where I'm at, so I'm just going to make a ton of resistors. A ton of resistors. Like, that many. Or maybe not that many. Apparently I'm out of golden nuggets. That's my biggest issue now. What if there's any way I can configure this as to what it should be using? Hmm, that is a good question. Okay, so, now I should be able to move on with my life. All right, I'm out of gold nuggets, so we'll just request... 32, 
And I'll just craft these in my inventory. Bada bing! Kind of annoying this. I'm not gonna lie, this is actually one of the cases where I would rather use bars than nuggets. Yeah, bars are more costly, but nuggets are more convenient. Of course I don't have a clock. Of course. I might as well just make two of them because I'd rather be prepared in this case. I already screwed up like six times. Uh, I forget if I need, you know what, let's just make two of them. I can't remember if I need one for the uh, thing. Okay, I'm 90% sure I need two of these. Throw those in there. And there's our CPU. I'm going to need a computer case, which is very strange. I suppose, I was sitting here and I was like, why is there a circuit board in the case? I suppose this case comes with a motherboard. Which confuses me a bit deeply. Uh, card base. Go. And now I will throw this card base back in. Oh, actually I need to make another one of these first. So I don't believe I did that. And if I didn't, I'm going to need it in the future anyhow. Okay, so. Oh, great. Fortunately, I need to make another thing. Uh, what all does it take? Four of these. Oh, good. I need buttons. Uh, let me just think real quick. Six, four, nine. Well, twenty-four, four, eight. Let's go ahead. I'll just make forty. Should be good enough. I wish there was a quicker way to do that. Okay, so I need four of these. Of course, I only got two because the buttons hadn't crossed through yet. I need one of these and I need one of these oh what have I done let's try this again don't you tell me missing four buttons and a keyboard don't lie to me Okay, so, now that we've got all of our computer components in our hand, minus the redstone control, because I retarded and forgot it, I was originally going to plant this on the back wall, but then I realized I need to be able to access this whenever it the elevator is down. So there's going to be drawbridges here, and they shouldn't really cause any issues... The cool part is I actually don't need the, uh, thing. Uh, that's... I don't need the computer there, I only need the monitor, and the keyboard won't even need to exist up there for much longer either. So, I'll put the computer case down here, fill it with a graphics card, memory, and the CPU. I didn't make a hard drive, but, eh, that's okay for the moment. Now, I've got a ton of power cable. And I guess I'll just run it across for now. When I made this too high, I apparently was not thinking very well. Now, the computers, thankfully, have a built-in power adapter. Power converter, rather. Yeah. You can see it converts power from other mods to the internal energy type. Cases do not need one of those on the network, although if you wanted to power an entire network, it'd probably be better off to have that. Need to go down. Now, all devices can be hooked to the network using 
No, not you. You know what? I could probably almost make you. I'm going to need this if I wish to use the redstone controls. So I might as well make it while I'm here. Missing microchip card base. Of course I'm missing a microchip. Now, give. Redstone card. And I'm going to need a little bit of this cable. By a little bit, I mean I'm obviously making 12 because I can. Okay. So what I can do is I can actually hook this cable between the case, which now has power, and... Woo! Woo! Okay. First of all, I need a block of some type. I'll cut this one out here and I'll place it here. I'll apply the monitor here. And then what I can do. Let's turn on my phantom bridge to make this simpler. I'll bring this down. Phantom bridge. I'm holding shift, and I realize you don't like it that much, but please stop. Okay, so, now, we should be in a good situation here. The only thing I still need to do, at least for the moment, well, I can turn off the phantom bridge, is I will put the monitor, or the keyboard, I'll put it on top of the monitor for the moment. I'm going to have to take it off later. Uh, because the way the touch screen works, if there's a keyboard on it, you still have to open up the, the GUI, GUI, however you want to refer to it. But, uh, if you press the button, it is now turned on. It is now slowly drawing power. Not at an extreme rate, but it is drawing power. As you can see, we've actively got a screen here. So, if we want to make a program, because we don't have a hard drive, we actually need to go into the, uh, temp folder. And I'll make a new program. So far, it doesn't seem too much different from computer craft. But unfortunately, like, first of all, if I want to... Oops, that does not need to be capitalized. If I want to make, say, a thing called RS, I'll make it, you know, local RS equals require component. Actually, no, I think in this case it is redstone. Now, I have left my redneck cable in my bag, thankfully. But I'll need to run that from the computer. Uh, I guess it's Phantom Bridge time. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to pull you out, good sir. Go back to where you belong. That should be better, because now I can bring the uh, redneck cabling in. Oh, God, just breaking everything. Okay. Now, obviously, I don't want the redneck cable connecting to those. Is the uh, forced mode on a per-side basis... It looks like it is on a per side basis. I don't remember it being that way. Let's try that. Oh, cool. So I can disconnect these from the wall or force them to connect to the wall if I want to keep that appearance the whole way down, which... Hmm. Cool. Now, that is connected into the computer, and because the computer has a red net card... I believe... Okay, that is west. I'm going to be honest. I might be making a complete fool of myself. I don't look into these things as much as I should. But look at that. You can still see our program on the front of that. So, with any luck, if I were to do... RS dot... Oh, good. This is where the problem comes in. Because I'm not... 
entirely sure. I'm also going to need sides equals require sides. Now, if any luck, I should be able to do this. I, I, I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure of all the commands here. This might turn it on and might not turn it back off. This might not even work. Yeah. All right. Hmm. So here's the convenient part, right? If I go to lib, I can actually see the different things in here, which weird. Hmm. See, then there's also the bin folder, and you can see redstone is in there. Although, I thought maybe everything in the bin is just constantly loaded. That doesn't make any sense, though. As far as I know, that is not the case. I'm going to check the time, and I'm going to try and stop myself from being an idiot. I'll be back shortly. Okay, we've got about four minutes, and I know what I've done wrong here now. Uh... This is not a require redstone. I will... What I need to do is... So I can do it like that. And then I'll do local... Colors. Where's it color? I've already forgotten. It'll yell at me if I'm wrong anyhow. And then I'll do local rs equals component dot redstone. I think I need that on there, but I'm not sure. And what I can do is I can actually do this in a bundled situation, although that is unnecessary for the current moment. Now, as long as I didn't screw it up again, this should work. No primary redstone available. What do you mean no primary redstone available? Oh, I didn't put the redstone card in. Yeah, that would cause a problem. Does that reboot the computer? I don't know if it will in the case of this mod. Mm, attempt to call to feel redstone... A table value. Me and this mod are fighting due to my bad argument number two, number expected, got boolean. Really? So, one? Oh, it's probably a signal strength, that's why. Well, it said it ran. If it is a signal strength, we'll set it to 15, maybe? Is this on? Let's request me a light, shall we? Oh, it's probably going out the wrong direction. Uh, because... Well, because of the fact of the way it's set up, well, west should be right because of the way I position the computer. I don't know why this wouldn't be working. Where are you? Redstone lamp. Put that there for reference. Huh. 
Okay, let's go to Lua mode then. Redstone dot set output sides dot west true. Tempted to index global. Number expected got boolean. 15. See, that's not spewing an error, but I clearly have no idea what I'm doing here. Let's try bundled output sides dot west colors dot white. Why are you not turning on? Clearly, I don't know enough about what I'm doing here. Does it just not work with... I don't see why it wouldn't work with the redneck cable. Uh... Let's try switching the mode here. Or you don't want to switch? Hmm. Strange. Phantom bridge is still on, don't need you. Get my lamp back. Let's try just... Well, let's try not falling to my death. But the first thing we're going to try is to... Knock you out. No? Not there? Not there. Why are you coming out the wrong side? That is not the power cable. Now, as you can see, the computer does have an internal power buffer that sticks around for a little while. Oh, and I lost a piece of concrete. That's painful. Stop what you're doing right now. So, if for some odd reason that is sides.west, then... I'm going to need to go with sides dot east. Cool. Now move the elevator down. Push him back up. And I'll set the signal strength to zero and that should turn it back off. As you can see, there's no signal coming through there. Good. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what the actual sleep function is. I'm not sure if it's still sleep. Let's try sleep... Point five. Yeah. Now, whatever. I'll figure it out. I'll show you the code at the beginning of the next episode, and uh, I'll see you then. But for now, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.